Hey everybody, welcome back to Lego Mess on the Floor, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Golden Dragon Lego set from Lego Ninjago from 2019. It is $19.99 uh, US dollars and has three minifigures and I think 171 pieces, so let's get into it. First up, the dragon has this nice molded head right here. And it has a stud shooter in the mouth, so if you close up the mouth, it'll shoot it. And, you know, it's just a regular stud shooter. And if you would like, you could take it off if you want, but I don't know. It kind of looks weird. And the feet, you can m move the le uh, feet up and down. They're on, like, mini ball joints, and they ha also have points on the legs, or right here. And each side is identical. And this sticker... Right here, it's the flag, and it's identical on both sides. It has a dragon tail with two swords, and every single one of these has a ball joint. And the wings are pretty nice. There's two points of articulation. There's some right here, and there's some right there. And there's claws that you can move down and up. And yeah, that's a dragon. And the first minifigure we'll be taking a look at is the Golden Ninja Lloyd from Legacy, and it's really nice. It has the dragon printing right there, and um, it has the green band right there, which is different than the original one, because the original one, I'll show you guys, was like that, and it was uh, show accurate. This one is like a new reimagined version of it, kind of, and let's do the spin. If I turn it around, you can see the back torso printing, and the alternative face print is that, and the front face print is that. And you can't really see it very well, but in the light, you can see, yeah, now you can, the energy bursting out of it, so that's kind of cool, I think. And the next minifigure is the Stone Army Scout from Legacy. And he has a nice crossbow. He has a nice face print. He has the um, little symbol right there. And if I spin him around, you can see he has one of those things on the back where you can put your arrows. And he just has a black head in the back. And he also has one of these nice red straw hat kind of hats. And the last minifigure in this set is the Overlord. And... This minifigure is really cool. It has, instead of, like, um, well, two arms from the show, it has four, like, garment on now. He has one of those ghost pieces on the bottom. He has a nice weapon. He, his face print is actually transparent. I, think, I guess mine is kind of stuck to his head. But, yeah, you can see it. You can see through it. And his helmet is the Helmet of Shadows from Season 2 of Ninjaga. And his back print is that. Nothing really special. And if you're wondering how this works, you can just, to give him four arms, you just take this off and it's a separate piece. So, yeah, that's that minifigure. And overall, I think this is a great set for $20. And it has really good minifigures. Um, only, I think, two of them are exclusive, but... That's still really good in a $20 set. Plus, you get a molded head for the dragon, and, you know, it's pretty big for $20. Like, a reasonable size. So, yeah, that's going to wrap up the review. Hope you guys liked the review. Thank you for watching, and like and subscribe as always. Bye!